Do you ever buy rotisserie chicken and feel like you're wasting a lot of it? You're not getting the most out of it? Me too. So I figured out a way to get the absolute most out of my rotisserie chicken. Hi, I'm Cassie Joy Garcia, and today that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to break down a rotisserie chicken and get the absolute most out of it. Alrighty, let's get started. We're gonna pull this cute little chicken out of its container. First step, remove that twine. You can snip this with scissors or just remove it with your fingers and set it aside. First, we're going to separate the legs. Stick your finger between the leg and the breast and press down towards the board, and that will help release the hip joint so that you can pull off the thigh and the leg in one piece together. Set those aside. I like to keep the skin on. Now we're gonna remove the wings. We're gonna remove from the shoulder, so stick your finger up until you find that shoulder joint and pull those apart. Now I like to pull off the skin in as large of a piece as I can and set that into its own pile. All the little skin pieces are gonna go in that pile. Now we get to do the obvious part, pull off the chicken meat, that light meat, and shred it. I like to shred it with my fingers. Fingers are already dirty, might as well do it now. <laughs> Just shred away. So what I've done is I've broken down that chicken into four different sections is how I think about it. So the first section is the one you're probably thinking about to begin with, but I shredded the light meat and any meat that was still on the bird when I was done taking everything else off and put that into one section. And that's the most protein we're gonna get off of the bird. And that's the stuff that I use for casseroles, for soups, for bowls, like that island chicken bowl that we have on the website. It's so good. It's such a versatile protein. So like break it down, shred it, keep it in your fridge, and then add it to dishes all week long. The second major category are gonna be the hindquarters and the wings. I like to leave the skin on them, and those are so great for reheating in the oven on a sheet pan dinner because the dark meat underneath that skin and the skin itself, it does really well when standing up to high heat again and being cooked again. It doesn't dry out, it just gets crispy and delicious. So use those for sheet pan dinners, so yummy. Third up, we have chicken skin. So the, chin, the skin that I took off the breast and off the back, it doesn't matter if it's crispy or not when you're taking it off, all the skin, you're gonna wanna save it because put it into a skillet over medium to high heat. You don't even need to add oil because there's plenty of fat in that skin and let it cook on a skillet until it gets really crispy. And it is like the best thing you've ever had. You can put it on salad. You can put it as a garnish on top of it. Something else you're cooking, crispy chicken skin, y'all, is so good. And then last are the bones, the chicken bones. So this is everything left. This is all the whole chicken. I just threw nothing away except for the little string that held it all together. The bones itself I've saved. And what I'm gonna use with this is I'm going to make chicken broth out of it. The fastest way that I know how to make chicken broth is I'm just gonna put this into an Instant Pot with a, about four-ish cups of water and a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna cook it on high pressure for about 20 minutes, and then you're gonna have beautiful chicken broth that you can use to make soups, or you name it, keep it. You're gonna use neat chicken broth all the time. Linked below, you're gonna find our five most popular articles on fedandfit.com recipes that use both shredded light meat and these dark meat hindquarters. So check that below, and then on your page, right now, if you want more kitchen hacks, we have our top 10 kitchen hacks linked on your screen. It is a really great video. Go watch it.